So I'm going to show you how to make a bird trap cage um, following the description from W. Hamilton Gibson's book Camp Life in the Woods and the, tri and the Tricks of Trapping and Trap Making. Um, now as you know there's several ways of making different um, cages but this is quite a different one. Um, and what you're going to need is sticks, it's got to be strong string, and a square board, um, depends on how you're going to make it, you could make this board bigger, um, a square board with a hole in the middle, and either uh, a smaller hole to insert a nail, or you could just hammer a nail in. Like I said, this is a bird trap. Because this is slightly different to one I've ever seen. Um, and this is more, not necessarily survival, but, you know, if you wanted to go out into the woods and make traps and that, you would just take this with you and some string. And that's kind of how it's described. Not necessarily described as a survival type trap, because you're not going to have boards. You probably could split a log into boards, but then there's easier ways of making a cage than this without having to cut a board. Right, so the first thing you've got to do is put four sticks down to make this cage any size you like. Four sticks down. Now, you have to tie these together with four bits of string, but you need to have them fairly long. So I do these four strings quite long. I reckon this is probably too long, but it doesn't necessarily matter. But it's got to be fairly long though. got a feeling these are already too long but you can kind of judge it depending on how high your um, cage is going to be but just in case I've got fair four fairly long bits of string now what you need to do is you need to tie the four together at the corners Try and make sure that the knot or the loose piece of string ends up facing the inside like that. That makes sense. So not so it's not you know ends up over there. could tie this more if you want it's entirely up to you you, know, you could go around a few times but I'm just doing it once like that that should be enough hopefully you can see this it's just I'm just doing one simple knot over the top like I said there's plenty of probably other way simpler ways of doing cage traps but this is quite an interesting one right so we've got the four corners tied it's not nothing you know over the top it's just loosely tied now I'm not going to do the next part precisely because it's a bit time consuming for a video but you should use sticks Will gradually get smaller as you go to make this into a pyramid well, I'm just going to use all the same but you still get the idea I'll still make a pyramid 
but it's going to have some sides sticking out. But in the book, he does describe each stick getting shorter and shorter. But that's not necessarily you know, absolutely needed. But this will just be a little bit more of a messy cage rather than a neat looking one like his. You can see how these bits are going to stick out a bit. Could cut them off after if you wanted to. keep going like I said depends how much of a rush you're in good cut all these shorter you're after as well you know you can keep going make it bigger and bigger and bigger good thing with doing it like this so this just keeps a fair bit of weight on it as well right so like I said in his pictures and his description the sticks are cut off so it makes a proper pyramid. Right, so you could adjust these, keep on going if you want to. Go as much as you want. Right now, what you would do. Get your four strings up through the middle. I'm just going to loosely lay them to their corners. I took the nail out now. Thread all four through the middle of this hole. the ends of the string if it ain't going to come through. Give me a minute. Right, so get all your strings, put them through. Like I said, it's very different to any um, cage trap I've ever seen before. They're all through there. Lay that on. Pull these up as tight as you can get them. And you want to tie a knot in it. I won't cut the excess off yet, depending. Um, so you've got a knot in the end, now you need a small stick. You stick that through there. Now what you've got to do now is start winding this up. Right, I reckon it's going to be alright, so I may actually cut the excess off so it don't get in the way right. so now I'm going to start winding this up like I said it's got to be fairly strong string for this fairly strong stick as well. Don't want 
string which is going to snap. Just hope this don't snap or any of the knots come undone. And then you take your nail, either hammer it in Like I said, it's a different one, especially that the strings are on the inside. Right. So, obviously the more you tighten it, the more it pulls the strings up. Pulling the strings up, it makes it tighter. Um, so I'm going to show you underneath. Just about to see there. Well, it's pulling it in tighter. Um, it probably would be better, maybe, had I tied these slightly different. I think it's it's holding just about. It's not great though. Um, it may be better if I don't know, but. So it might be better if the sticks was um, cut off. You're gonna, if you're gonna use this as a trap, you are gonna need to cut some of them off so it lays flat when you use it as a cage. But slightly different way of doing it with a plank of wood. To be honest, there's probably plenty of other better methods of making a cage. Because um, even the string inside kind of gets in the way a bit um, you got to remember this is a bird trap this is not for mammals or anything so it probably would hold a bird like this but it's a bit unstable I think when you want to pull it up a lot of tension on them strings it kind of wants to twist about um, worth having a go I don't think it would have made much difference if you had to cut these off I think it would actually made it a little bit more unstable because when these are off you've got um you know it's more likely for it to come apart whereas it's got to come far apart here before it gets to the end of the sticks but like i said if you were going to use something like this at least one side you're going to have to cut off otherwise when you lift it it won't lay properly if you know what i mean 